out here with Pro Video Coalition. I'm with Joseph from Miller. We're talking about tripods. Joseph has a tripod in his house, which I'm going to show now. Actually, I'm going to go to gallery view since it's just two of us. And I love tripods. I have a lot of Miller tripods. Um, I just, they're, they're tough. And well, tripods aren't the sexiest thing to talk about. We all need a tripod. So Joe, what do you have in your very guitar, fantastic space there, which is not a tripod, but you know, whatever. What do you got there for us? Well, yeah, welcome and thank you for having me on and um, welcome to my sort of home office. So I obviously have a few guitars there in the background, but um, I actually have here with me our new um, Arrow X1 or AX1 for short. So what's really cool about this product is, I mean, many people are familiar with our Arrow range. So we, we have had in our Arrow range the, for a little while, the Arrow X3, the 5 and the 7 which are really targeted towards your professional, often newscaster or creative that wants to go for like a smaller um, head than going for a big 150 mil. Um, so what we've gone and done here with our Arrow X1 is actually really, we've moved down our payloads because as you know, um, payloads for cameras and they're getting smaller. I mean, I mean, there's obviously announcements from Red having smaller cameras. Ari, I mean, everyone, Alexa Mini went absolutely crazy. Um, and there's a whole bunch of other manufacturers out there, Sony. I mean, they're, they're all making these much more small but highly capable um, cameras, really. So it's really up to us as tripod manufacturers to develop technology, I suppose, which is really targeted to that user that has obviously down the size of their camera and doesn't want to carry these huge setups around everywhere. So that's kind of what we're seeing out here um, with our Arrow X1. So with this particular little head, it actually goes from zero. I might move it up a little bit closer so we can get a little bit of a yeah. close view there. So it goes from zero, so as far as payload, right the way through to 16 kilograms. So that has a really nice spectrum covered with its payload range. So can you put that in kilograms just for my audience? Oh, pounds. <laughs> in pounds, yes, yeah, sorry. Um, on the side of the world, it's all kilos. So um, zero is um, still zero in pounds, uh, thankfully. Uh, and then obviously, if we're talking around 16 kilograms, you're going to be talking about 35 pounds. Okay. Now, I, I don't have my cheat sheet in front of me, but that's roughly where we're at. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, but what's really nice with our Arrow X, as our X in our range denotes, is our 16 position counterbalance system, um, which allows you to really fine tune the head to the counterbalance, whatever you really need. And that's all, all shown right here on the back. Now I'll see if I can get that up nice and close so you guys can have a bit of a better look at that. Yeah, so what we have here, this is our 16 position counterbalance system. Okay. Now this is a sequential system which means it's very easy once we've um, roughly found the center load of our, of our camera or our payload and we put it on, um, it's very easy to fine tune and get that perfect sort of balance that you're looking for um, out of a tripod head. Um, for those that are a little bit unfamiliar with Miller in general, I mean, we're an Australian company. We've been around for over 65 years um, making and manufacturing fluid heads. So the heritage is, <laughs> is very long and we've been doing it for a very, very, very long time. So, um, six, like I have a Miller head and I think it's got like six stops or five stops of counterbalance range to like, can you kind of go a little further into that? So if you, if you have like a, a, a Airy mini LF and you throw on like, you have a prime and then you throw in a long heavy zoom, like a Zeiss compact zoom, like 7,200, you're going to want to be able to, you're going to dial up that counterbalance. Is that correct? Absolutely. You're going to want to increase your counterbalance because um, essentially, like, and look, I've, I've done a bit of work. I, I used to shoot steady cam and all that sort of thing. So we used to talk when it came to that sort of stuff, yeah. um, when it comes to balancing. And, and with that sort of thing, balancing is critical. But it's not so dissimilar with tripods either. Really, what when you're trying to balance your camera or your payload, as I'm sure you're aware and probably a lot of your, your viewers and listeners, yeah. it's about really not wanting to interfere too much with the payload that's on your head. You really want to not be fighting to either push a weight down or to really try and hold it up because that's when your errors and everything come into your shot. That's when you might get a shake or you might get a, a bumpy start or a bumpy stop or something because you're not balancing it correctly. So just like in that scenario where you've explained obviously about um, changing your lenses and things like this, it makes it very easy if you've gone and dropped down in size 
just to reduce your counter balance and drop it down a couple of levels. And with any of our Arrow X range as well, to make that a little bit easier, is obviously you've shortened up your range, so your, your balance will naturally move. So it's very easy with these, with any of our Arrow X, they have 120 mil of travel here in the top plate. So we can actually just, if you move to a shorter lens, you can bump it forward a little bit, get your balance right, set your counterbalance, and away you go again. So this is really designed for like a lot of users that are on the move, they need to be shooting. And what we're seeing with a lot of productions and even a lot of news shooting or anything, it's all fast paced. I mean, I used to be a news operator for many, many years before joining Miller, um, working with some of our big broadcasters here in Australia, Channel 7, um, Wind Television, all that sort of thing. So, I mean, really, as I'm sure you're aware, and again, a lot of your viewers, is speed is critical when it comes to that sort of thing. So having a head with all your controls here on the back where I'm standing, um, and obviously being able to make these fine adjustments on the go is absolutely critical. Yeah, so if like some people don't understand, but if you zoom in sometimes, you gotta pull that camera back because the, you might start, you know, you might start tilting down and tilting up. And if your camera's not floating just right, you're fighting it. And so you don't, you don't want to fight it. No, so, you, this is it. You don't want to, you want to have as minimal pressure from the operator as possible on the camera. You really want your head to kind of sit there and do its job. Um, and really, you, I mean, you, we never suggest walking away, but you nearly want to be able to walk away and have your, ca have your camera and your payload basically sit at whatever angle you're setting. I mean, obviously, we don't recommend walking away from a camera on a tripod, I mean, especially. I, we've other. all done it. We've all done it. I'm guilty. <laughs> I, I'm, yeah. Maybe turn a little right. I might have done it too. Yeah, you, can, you can actually do that if, you're, if, you're, if your camera is balanced correctly. And that's where these fine tune adjustments are only getting better and better with our tripod range. Like we've seen the Arrow X obviously um, in all of its forms, like I said, the three, five and seven, and now with the one. Um, and we also um, have put the our X functionality or if you will, our, our continuous counterbalance, our um, continuous selectable counterbalance system onto our compass range as well. So is, we're really for someone I might not know what is the X counterbalance? What is that? And that's okay, not so, on this tripod, by the way. Sorry? That's not on this tripod, right? Yeah, no, this is. This is so this is our arrow X1. So X um, it basically denotes our, our 16 position counterbalance system that is continuously selectable. Now how that works, and I'll just move it back around here so we can sort of get a bit of a better view. How that works here, we might lift her up, is we actually have our 16 steps here on the back with this lovely knob. So we can actually select eight big steps on this knob. Mm -hmm. And then when we come around to our front, we have a, whoop, let me just pop him down. We have a half stop. So between each of our eight stops, we have a, we have a half position which allows you to trim and get things just right. You go, okay, am I there? Am I there yet? No, I need a little bit more, I need a little bit less, depending on whether you've had it on or off. You can just click it in either on or off to help get that full um, 16 position um, positions of counterbalance. And with this going down to zero, this particular head, you can pretty much put a GoPro on it if you wanted to and shoot with that. Now, I don't see the need for that too often, but because you can go down to zero, um, the flexibility with camera payloads is immense. So like, you know, counter balance zero to 35 pounds, you know, it, you might not think that's, that, that's necessary, it might sound crazy, but like, for example, I might have a Sony 400, which is all kitted out like 24 pounds, 22, 24 pounds, maybe 17, depends if I have a light on. And then I might have a Nikon Z6 with like a cage, which is, you know, like, I don't, you sometimes you got to put it on a bigger tripod and you want absolutely you don't, don't want to be like fighting a tripod pain until it's just because you happen to have it with you exactly and look and this allows you basically to use like a it's a bit of a, a a one tripod nearly fits all unless you're actually starting to use really big payloads and then in which case obviously horses for courses right and we do some great um, tripods for that sort of thing as well but um, this really brings in a level of flexibility and, and, and in a professional head as well. I mean, our Arrow range has been tried and tested for years. I mean, we originally started with original Arrow, um, then we went like Arrow 40s and 25s and stuff like this before we have actually graduated to the Arrow X. I mean, this, um, this format, this, this style of head has been put through its paces like for years. Um, and it's a very, very tried and true product and it has 
happy users around the world. <laughs> so, so to see this into a smaller payload is great. So this would be the arrow, you said one, three, five, and seven, is that correct? That's correct, yes. Yeah. So the arrow X1, um, like I said, is zero to about 35 pounds, because I'm going to try and get it in pounds for you. Uh, our X3, um, and, and it has five positions of drag, and I'll talk about the drag in a second. Our X3 um, has uh, five positions of drag and goes from about two and a half pounds to about 41 pounds. So you start to step up a little bit. Yeah. And then our five and seven both have seven positions of drag. And like the seven goes from uh, six to 25 kilos or from about 13, 14 pounds through to about, what would that be, about 55, 56? Yeah, 55, 65. Approximately. Like you'll have to forgive me. I'm probably, I'm probably going to be off by a pound or two here or there. <laughs> like I said, we, will, we will forgive you. We'll forgive you. <laughs> We're the ones in pounds. Everyone else is in, uh, you know, metrics. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm so, I, look, I typically look after um, Asia, Africa, Middle East, um, and that sort of thing. So, I mean, we typically work in kilos a lot. So, for me now, we're transferring it all back over to pounds. But we do have all that information available on our website in pounds and in inches and everything else in the um, imperial system. <laughs> and so, let's talk about the five steps of drag. Yeah, so our five steps of drag in this one here, in this particular um, Arrow X1, is actually a slightly lighter drag than what we have in, in our three, five, and seven. So I've actually put in slightly lighter clutches and everything because it is more catering to the people like you sort of had a suggestion with your, with your, with your Nikon, um, but then obviously want to go and use something bigger. You don't really want to be cranking the absolute to the top extremes of your, um, of your drag. So really what you've got with your five positions of drag is again, it's all illuminated and everything here on the back. I'll pick her up again. Where are we? Can I, can I, so you have the buttons to illuminate what you need to see? Yeah, to illuminate everything, what you need to see. And you've got your five positions. And again, what's important about this is it's where your operator's standing. It's all here on the back. Like uh, apart from a situation like this, where I'm obviously having to turn it to show you. Yeah. <laughs> But normally, obviously, as anyone would know, you're, you're standing here at the back. So what better than to have all your controls right here where you're operating? Yeah. So it's very, like, it's a very, very well designed head. It's very unique um, to Miller when it comes to our arrow range. Like, you don't quite see too much out there on the market when it comes to our competitors doing it quite like this. Um, and I think it's a very unique um, kind of feature that, I mean, a lot of our operators and everything really appreciate. I mean, some of the other cool things you get with our Arrow X range, like I might have mentioned, you've got your 120 mil of travel here on the top plate to get your fine adjustment. You have your quick release. Yeah. Euro style. And that just locks in like that. And also, we'll pop her up here. We have your spare screws in the head. So that's a spare quarter and a spare three eighth. So when you're on the job and you lose, and I do say when and not if, <laughs> and you do lose these, um, which happens um, a lot. <laughs> You've got your spares there um, ready to go as well. So it's a, it's a very nicely designed head. I mean, you've got replaceable rosettes. Um, your studs removable, so you can flat mount it if you want to on a slider mm -hmm. or that sort of thing. You've got a lot of sort of options and it's a very, very versatile. Wait, wait, you can flat mount that head on a slider as well? Yeah, so with, with, with any of these, it won't drop anything. There we go. If you've not prepared earlier, um, we have a removable stud. So you can easily pull that out if you want. And it's just bolt straight into the bottom, straight onto a flat mount, whatever you'd like. Also, if we can see here on the bottom, there's three little screw holes there. If you like, as an optional accessory, you can actually get a, um, a Mitchell mount. I think that's what you guys. Yeah, it's what we got. Yep, yep, your Mitchell mounts, um, which means you can actually, if you have an existing Mitchell set of legs, or let's say you're on a set or you have a slider that's Mitchell, um, which is often like a lot of creatives do, they'll have a slider in their kit that has a Mitchell base or something like that. You can actually pop the plate on and then use it on anything that's Mitchell based as well. Okay, is there anything we're, we're missing on tripods? It seems like you have adaptable ball. You have, I mean, I'll tell you this right now, you're right, you're gonna lose those screws, the quarter and three eighths, you're gonna lose them. I, I have a whole baggie in my, run, my go bag because um, I lose them all the time. But um, the lights, I don't know, first of all, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, if you guys are using a tripod without a 
a light, a lit and balance indicator. I don't know how you live in the world because, because you need to have it. My God. Um, anyways, I'll shut up. Is there anything else we want, we need to mention here? Oh, look, I mean, that's pretty much most of the features here talking about our new, um, Arrow X1. It's going to be available shipping from the 15th of June. Um, in any in any sort of region around the world, obviously we've got our regional support offices. We've got office in the UK, office in the US, and we've got servicing dealers all over the globe. Um, so support is there. Um, what I might touch on very briefly, as I think I might have just touched on before this interview earlier, is we actually I've got this one here mounted on our sprinter legs. Yeah. Now I'm going to take a bit of a step back here to show you very quickly how good these are. So the nice thing with your sprinter legs is very easy to set up and, and pop down. So you can just pop both releases there. And now I'm ready to go to a shoot. Yeah. Or I can set up again just as quick. And if I want to, because it's a dual system, I can just release the bottom section if I want. And that's just releasing now the bottom section of my tripod. Or I can do the top, or I can do both together. And it's very, very quick and easy to set this up. And I just wanted to make mention of this because we have also recently launched this in 75 millimeter as well. All carbon fiber, and we do do an alloy option in 100 as well. I like that, I have an aluminum option. For some reason, I like the weight on a smaller tripod. Um, yes. <laughs> and then carbon fiber for a heavier one because that's, you know, it's, you don't want to wear yourself. Absolutely, you don't want to be carrying it all around. So like I said, available from 15th of June. Um, and honestly, like, yeah, anyone who, who's been using a Miller, always loves it. I mean, one of our sort of slogans is the right feel. And that's because like a lot of operators, when they feel it, they go like, oh, this is what, this is what it should feel like. Again, I, I said earlier that tripod doesn't feel like the sexiest of purchase that you might need for your business. But if you're using a, on a, a not a great tripod, it, it suddenly becomes a big problem. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we tend to sort of find that sort of a tripod's sort of down the list when it comes to priorities. You generally, obviously, and for obvious reasons, have your camera, have your lenses, all that sort of thing. And tripod tends to be down the list. But a good tripod is absolutely vital. I mean, you don't want to be putting twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars worth of equipment on something that's potentially going to be comp compromise the safety of that gear. Um, and also the performance. I mean, the thing is, with these, we we offer a, a three year warranty with any of these. Um, straight out of the box, um, but really these, I've seen these used in television stations, production houses, 15, 20 years on. My, my smaller one is right here. It is 10 years old, still in the back. I mean, and I use it, I use it all the time. And again, it's just for light cameras. It's just like an old DS10, but you, yeah. you're going to use a tripod longer than you use it, the next three cameras. Exactly. And that's exactly right. And that's where like we obviously try to remind people is like, look, you're going to, you're going to upgrade your camera three, four, probably maybe even more times before you'll end up replacing yeah. a good tripod. And it's nice to have that consistent performance from day one, right the way through to the end of its life. And I, like I said, I guarantee you'll probably end up getting several cameras before you'll actually <laughs> replace one of these. I have two rules in my life when it comes to production gear. Don't sell tripods, don't sell lenses. You never know, Those are, no matter what, that purchase is worth its weight 10 years from now, so. Absolutely, absolutely, like, yes. And, and it's nice to know, for me, it's the biggest thing is the consistency. Like, when I, and the reliability, like, when I used to shoot news, I'd just pull this thing straight out of the back of the car, get going. If I needed to tighten something, I might just tighten the leg with a little bolt, and I'm and away I go again. Yeah, we keep what? all the spares and everything on hand for, for years, so there's no need to worry about, oh, no, now I'm going to get stuck with something that doesn't work. We've been around for over 65 years and we, we've been supporting our gear for a very, very, very long time. <laughs> There's probably still someone using the original wood Miller tripod somewhere down there. I see them, I see them. They're, they're still out there using an old, like the, some of our more original heads on wooden legs and some of the guys still really like them, the old wooden yeah. legs, so. If it works, right? Exactly, exactly. No, look, you get it. I mean, with these sort of things, you get a really high quality and consistent product. And it's nice to sort of have the professional technology into a smaller payload and everything with these ones now. So for any more information on any of our products, you can hop on to www.millertripods.com and, and we'll have our full range there and, and we can obviously help make sure that you get the right tripod and head for your needs. Thank you very, very much for having me on. It's much appreciated. Okay. All right, man. Stay safe.